as I was preparing for uh, my brief remarks tonight, I found that it is no coincidence that we are here gathered during the week of the portion of Vayeshev. Because in this portion we are introduced to Yosef, Yosef Tzadik. And if there is one story that defines Yosef, it is the story of him being sold as a slave. That is his story. Yet when Yosef himself tells the story in Parashat Vayigash of him being sold as a slave the first time he reveals himself to his brothers, what does he say? Ve'ata al ta'atzvu ba'alichar b'enechem ki mechartem oti heina ki limichya shelachan yelokim lifnechem. He tells his brothers, no, don't be saddened that you have sold me because I was sent here to provide for you. The difference is dramatic and it is encapsulated in just one word. You haven't sold me, I have been sent. From sold to sent. And it's dramatic because passive things are sold. Slaves are sold. The chairs you're sitting on are sold. But people that are sent are actively engaged with the world. And I think of this thought because I think it embodies idea Rabbi Rabbi Steinsaltz, certainly in my eyes. From the moment I met him at the very young age of eight years old in Toulouse, France, until I studied with him both in his school and in his high school in Makor Chaim, and until this very day, well, I keep in touch very closely with him, and each time he comes to the States, I try and go and see him, I speak to him on the phone quite often. But indeed, Rabbi Steinsaltz has always told us that you have been sent. You are not sold. Yes, we may be Josephs that found ourselves in the pits of life, that found ourselves facing challenges that are almost impossible to overcome. But there is a reason we are there, because we were sent like Yosef. I'll never forget that when I became a rabbi in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona, as was mentioned, Rabbi Steinholz gave me uh, many words of wisdom. But then he told me uh, the story that uh, he heard from a Hasidic Jew about the difference between the Chabad Hasidim and some other Hasidim. And he asked me, Pini, do you know what the difference is between them? I'll tell you what I heard from a Hasid. Chabad Hasidim don't grow payers, others do. Others do. Others grow payers because as is their tradition, if they ever end up in hell after 120 years old, their rabbis will come and say, oh God, my Hasid is in hell. And he'll pull the Hasid out of hell through the payers. <laughs> the Chabad Hasidim are different and I believe in that method, he tells me. If you end up in hell, I'll come to you, you won't have payers. And I'll say, great, you're in hell. Now you're on a mission. This is your shlichut. It's time for you to transform hell into heaven. And I'll never forget him telling me that because indeed, we are sent. This is the message that he infuses in everyone that he encounters. We are indeed sent. You know, the, just two weeks ago, I happened to be in Israel, I came really just for 24 hours. I didn't even know that this was happening until Thomas said, oh, you know, we have an evening and uh, I need you to speak. So I said, I obliged. But um, two weeks ago, I came uh, with a member of my community to Israel. And uh, as I always do, I went to Rabbi Stans's office ready. My purpose was to be there just to say how much I miss him and how much I love him to give him a hug and uh, shalom aleichem and maybe say hear a few words. I ended up staying for quite a long time. We had a long conversation, but I came out surprised, not because of the content of the conversation as much as the opening of the conversation. As always, I asked him, shalom kvod arav, ma nishma, ma shalom cha, ma shalom abriyut. And two weeks ago, this was two weeks ago, he tells me, ani besedeh, I would have expected him to say, now, you know, let's talk about other things as he always does. Just leave me alone. But he tells me, my only prayer for God 
is that I have the strength to continue to fulfill my dreams. And then he tells me somewhere here in my office, I have a list with many goals and objectives that I have for at least another 100 years. I don't show it to anybody, lest they think I'm crazy. But Al Tashlicheni Le'ed Zikna is my prayer. Please do not send me to days of old in which I will have no strength to fulfill those dreams. And then I said, so what can we do to help you? And Rabbi Steinzel said, I need two things. I need people, and I need a five letter word. That's how he refers to money, if you know him. Five letter words, four letter words are not so popular in, uh, across the world, not just in America. But five letter word, he needs money. I said, look, I hope I'm one of your people. But I can promise you that I'll contage everyone else with your spirit so that you have as much people as you can. And money, I'll try to do the same. So I'm here ready tonight, maybe just to share this message. Rabbi Steinsaltz has transformed each and every one of us here in this room into people that are not sold, rather into people that are sent. Into people that are sent to carry his message, to face the pits of life and transform despair into hope, indifference into love, darkness into light. And I'll conclude just with an anecdote that I myself experienced through Rabbi Steinsaltz. An anecdote in which he was teaching the Talmud to a group of participants in his Aleph offices in uh, New York. And then all of a sudden he turns to the participants in his classic characteristic way, he tells them, uh, so, do you know the song of the Beatles, Come Together? Come Together. He didn't sing it. And they said yes. He says, well, I think that's what I'm trying to do. I go around the world and I tell Jews, come together. Sing together. Sing the song of our prayer, Shomer Israel, Shmo She'elit Israel, Val Yovad Israel, Aumrim Shma Israel. Preserve Hashem, preserve the people of Israel, preserve the remains of the people of Israel, and make sure that they continue to sing Shema Israel. I can hear Rabbi Steinzels' words from that Talmud class left ringing in my ears. And he said to them, sing with me, come together with me, don't sit, stand. Don't stand, walk. Don't walk, run. And if just one of you runs, it's good. But only a small change is made. If we all run together, come together, sing together Shema Yisrael, the world will shake. Toda thank you.